In this presentation I want to provide information on a novel assay provided by American Diagnostic at GmbH. It is an aptamer based assay for active thrombin. It's called Oligobind Thrombin ICA, ICA for enzyme capture assay, and it has the product number ADG844. This assay was developed in cooperation with University of Bonn, Professor Dr. Bernd Pirch and Privatizant Dr. Jens Müller. The oligobind thrombin assay is for the determination of active thrombin in plasma samples and it is based on a thrombin specific aptamer which is a oligonucleotides with specificity for thrombin. The current assays for thrombin activity are mostly indirect. For example, thrombin formation is measured via complex formation with the inhibitor antithrombin, the so-called thrombin antithrombin complex ELISA, TAT ELISA, for example. Such assays rather reflect the average state of thrombin generation over a longer period of time, and they rather do not reflect the current state of procoagulant activity. The direct determination of active thrombin might reflect more accurately the current status of the disease-relevant phenotype, that is, the appearance of active thrombin in a given sample. What is the test principle of the oligobind thrombin assay? First, there is a thrombin-specific aptamer, which is an oligonucleotide specific for thrombin. Second, of course, there's thrombin in the sample. There is a fluorogenic thrombin substrate, and there is a cleavage product of the substrate, which is fluorescent. The assay is based on the conventional 96-well microtiter format. The thrombin-specific aptamer is bound to the microtiter plate. Active thrombin in the sample is captured by the aptamer, and the fluorogenic thrombin substrate is added, bound, and converted into a fluorescent product. And the amount of fluorescent product is measured via fluorescence quantification. Here are representative standard curves of the assay, where you see a rather large range of measurement at very low thrombin concentrations in the sub nanogram per milliliter range and of course you have higher signals in the nanogram range. This is the package insert of the assay, a description of the assay constituents as well as a step-by-step -step instruction for use. Taken together, oligobind the thrombin assay measures active thrombin in blood samples it allows to explore suspected thrombin generation in vivo in human samples. There are special blood collection tubes needed that stabilize the thrombin in a given sample. These blood collection tubes are available from American Diagnostica, GmbH as well. Currently the assay is for research use only. A few words about the scientific references underlying this development. First, there's this publication by Jens Müller in the Journal of Thrombosis and Hemostasis in 2008. It basically describes the aptamer which is used in the assay. It specifically binds thrombin without blocking the active site. This publication, also by Jens Müller in 2007, describes the assay principle. And this recent publication by Jens Müller in 2011 describes the use of this assay principle in human samples. Here is a figure taken from this publication. It de describes thrombin levels in blood samples from patients undergoing elective hip and knee surgery, five patients, and you see in all cases elevated thrombin concentrations. At first glance, these thrombin concentrations correlate well with the levels of thrombin antithrombin complexes. But if you do a more detailed analysis at the individual level, you see that there is quite some discrepancy in this correlation, meaning that thrombin antithrombin complexes do not accurately reflect the current state of thrombin levels in a given samples. Here is the citation. Müller and colleagues conclude that detection of thrombin more accurately reflects the current state of procoagulant activity, whereas TAT levels, thrombin antithrombin complex levels, rather reflect the average state of thrombin generation over a longer period of time. 
sorry for this typo. And the authors propose that the direct determination of plasma levels of the active reaction partners of complex and dynamic biological net networks, such as the coagulation cascade, more accurately reflect disease-relevant intermediate phenotypes and therefore represent a better basis for treatment decision. In other words, direct determination of the active reaction partner which is responsible for the biological sequelae of a given situation appears better than determination of the reaction products. The uptimer based assay for active thrombin, oligobind thrombin ICA, product number ADG844, is available from American Diagnostic at GmbH in Germany. Here is the order information via telephone, fax or email, and additional product information and data sheets are available at American Diagnostica gene based website at americandiagnostica.de. My name is Michael Kramer and I'm medical consultant to American Diagnostica and I thank you very much for your interest, time and attention.